Hello, this is Marinda Smith. When I've been speaking to people recently about setting up their registered training organisation, I've noticed there's this common theme going through the conversations. The theme is around the lack of clarity of how they're going to start the business, the scope they're wanting to put on and the industry areas that they're going to target. I'm starting to see a trend that people are looking at being coming an RTO as a nice business to have rather than seeing a need for that quality training and wanting to improve on maybe what's out there or deliver something that is totally different but enables uh, is flexible for the students and the and the industry out there now when you're setting up an RTO you must be very very clear who your target market is the reason you're setting up this business and how it's going to be successful the registering body needs to know that you are going to have a sustainable business. They don't want you going out of business in the first two years. So that's why there's a lot of rigor around the financial criteria when you do your initial application. So before you even start talking to consultants, you need to get a very clear idea about the training you're going to deliver, your target market, the scope that you need to have, and how you're going to be better than everyone else out there. I look forward to working with you and assisting you with your goals to become a registered training organisation. This is Marinda Smith from Become an RTO.